First up, from France, Roman Bidet. And we're back already. No low in the action here at Cage Warriors. We move to the welterweight division now here on our live Cage Warriors 85 preliminary stream. Roman Bidet coming to us from France. And Ian, keeping up a proud tradition of French Warriors making a name here at Cage Warriors. That's right, Brad. He's making his second appearance as well at Cage Warriors. Fought earlier this year at Cage Warriors 81 in Ireland. Um, put on a game performance there. Just come up short. Um, although he's a one and three as a pro, the record is a little bit misleading. He is a good all rounder. He, he is very solid. Training out of the Fight Club 86 and uh, the Pythagoras gym. In front, which um, is the home of the for that this former Cage Warriors champion himself, uh, DJ Gamba. So these guys, you know, this guy, he is a, a good fighter. His record is misleading. He jumped to the chance to try and uh, correct what happened, what happened in March. He's fighting, uh, let me just see what happened. He fights Joshua Morris, who's making his debut. A uh, very talented young fighter. Yeah, we said so many times about these French guys. They travel so often to get that experience. They're always going overseas into someone else's backyard. It's not the normal way, way things are done. Young fighters used to starting off their first few contests at home. And as you said, in that record, perhaps in, in that respect, slightly misleading. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent as he makes his way into the cage tonight from Leicester, England, Josh McManus. And Ian, uh, we talked about it with, uh, with Abby and Dan Hardy opening the show. If you're an up-and-coming fighter on the UK and European circuit, the Cage Warriors prelims are where you need to be. We've got a young man here making his debut, just 22 years of age. And he's here on Cage Warriors, on the big stage, fighting, as you said, a very tough opponent. Yeah, that's right, Brad. Really looking forward to the debut of Josh McManus here at Cage Warriors. Even though he's only 22 years old, he's immensely experienced in the amateur ranks. We have him down with 16 amateur fights. Also worth noting, he reached the finals in the 2014 IMA World Championships in Las Vegas, where he lost out to a rescue uh, Nurman, who has had quite a good break for himself so far. Competing since he was 16, really hoping he's going to go the right way in the amateur ranks on the UK circuit. And this is what hopefully he's going to prepare himself for a successful break for him. He's took the ring to the rest of the and like you said, I'm very, very interested to see how he does right now. Well, you know, that, that just goes to back up what you said about both fighters here. You know, you look at the record sometimes, especially with the guys who are early in their career, you think, oh, Dave, you got this guy's not much experience. He's got six years in the cage. Now, that's a lot, a lot longer than, uh, you know, a lot of pros that maybe nine or ten fights under their belt. So we're not watching novice fighters here. We're watching guys making the first steps in their MRA career. Ladies and gentlemen, we come now to three rounds in the Cage Warriors welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of one win, three losses. Standing six feet tall, he weighed in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Niort, France, Roman Bidet. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist with a decorated amateur career tonight, making his professional debut. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Leicester, England, Josh McManus. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Mark Goddard. One of the best in the business, if not the best, referee Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. Roman Bidet. In the black trunks, Josh McManus in the, I'm going to say gold, looks like some uh, high-level Versace gear that he's got on there. Must have been taking fashion tips from Fakel Hussein. I was just about to say that, Brad. Let's see if he can fight like him. Um, and here we go. Interesting as well, you know, M McManus uh, from Leicester, halfway up the country, but seems to have a heck of a lot of support down here. Yeah, but then again, when you've got six, you know, 16 amateur bouts 
you know, you are going to uh, grow a fan base. He has fought around the country. You know, this is nothing new to him. Oh, nice front kick to the stomach there from Bidet. Superman punched again on the inside. Looking to rip his man off the cage, not able to. Both of them back on their feet in the scramble. Spinning back in there, caught him just on the chest, just under the chin. Yeah. Bidet, much like his cage warrior's debut back in March, very fast start. Let's see if he can keep up the pace. The first thing that's noticed from Brad is a big size difference. Josh McManus looks huge at the weight. Absolutely. Oh, big body kick. McManus sets it like a champ, though. Bringing his opponent right there, Brad. Absolutely. McManus looking for the rear naked choke here. He's oh, going under the chin, I believe. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Switched to the short choke, and that was all she wrote. Fantastic finish there by Josh McManus. And again, just like the left back, elbows really. Making a difference, but these ones are powerful elbows. Threatening up and down and rocking him again on the floor, opening him, opening up his defences, and McManus just went straight for the choke. Fantastic professional debut. Absolutely, and you see Bidet shaking his head there almost in disbelief. And we talk about flash knockouts and snap knockouts. That, that was a flash submission in my eyes. Soon as he got that locked in, switched to the short choke, cranked it, and that was over. Fantastic work by McManus, as you said, just devastating right there at the end. Yeah, I believe the hype, ladies and gentlemen. Josh McManus, 1-0 in what just might be a storied professional career in mixed martial arts for the 22-year-old. And that perhaps the most frightening thing here, just 22 years old, a lot of time to develop. Here's our MC Andy Friedlander, he'll make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 39 seconds of round number one, declaring the winner by submission, by a rear naked choke, Josh McManus! Well, that is the performance that you really caught for here. Josh McManus goes 1-0 here at Cage Warriors 85. McManus celebrating with his corner team there. He'll join Andy Friedlander for a few words in the cage. Congratulations, Josh. You've got 16 amateur fights behind you, but none can be sweeter than a pro debut win here in England. Fucking awesome, man. Um, been waiting to turn pro for a while, back from an injury. Gonna come in the scene and fucking tear it up, man. People are getting lit up. Now, your experience obviously told you took a couple of body shots. I think there was a spinning wheel kick early on. Is that the uh, preparation you'd make? Because he's a very lively and innovative fighter. Be away once, we won't come in anywhere near me. <laughs> I love this confidence. You're 22 years old. I think your brother won in the amateurs earlier. What ambitions have you set yourself? Because we've been waiting for you to turn pro, but you're young enough really to have the world in front of you. Fight as regularly as possible, get in there. Do what I do. And what do you challenge yourself with? I mean, as, as we said, you're young, you're talented, but where are you mentally challenging yourself? Do you think you've had any weaknesses? Are you looking for different training? Train with some of the best people in the country. Stick my team. I ain't got to change nothing. Best team of art. You've got a great team. You've got an amazing style to watch. You've got a cracking fan base here. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Josh McManus.